My name's Justin from The Art of Repair, and you're watching the Easy Trace Jumper installation video. So let's just go ahead and jump into this. Let's go ahead and get it installed. Okay, 30 seconds right before we get started. What exactly is this big old contraption thing you have right behind you, Justin? That, my friends, is an Easy Trace Jumper. What does it do? Well, if you do the audio IC repair, the moment you take the chip off, you have to start running little jumpers to make sure you don't get a warranty back. Okay, and we're not going to go into that right now. But more of the story is, if you do that repair, you know what I'm talking about. And scratching, doing the jumpers, and doing the UV can be a pain in the, the butt sometimes. And it can be a little messy. You know what I mean? So with that being said, this little contraption doohickey right here is going to solve that. And it's going to solve that because, if you take a look-see here, We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight little connection points that correspond to all eight service level jumpers, including ground and including 1.8. Yeah, you heard me right. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take this right now and I'm gonna show you how to cut it out. It's really, really simple, but I'm gonna tell you right now, if you don't do what I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna have alignment issues, okay? So pay attention. Um, we're gonna go in, we're gonna come, there's one, two, three little arms here. We're going to come in at the right angle here, and we're going to turn our blade at a 45 degree angle, and we're going to cut in so that it's completely flush. All right, that's one. If you don't cut them completely flush, what's going to end up happening? Just make sure we can see that. What's going to end up happening is you'll get alignment issues, and those alignment issues will infuriate you. And it'll feel like the product's not working, but really it'll be have been kind of your fault which I'm sorry about, but it would have been. But it's okay, because these are super easy to modify and you can basically fix it inside. As you can tell, I'm cutting this really, really simply with a knife. Um, if you do get them in and they're not aligning up, you can easily just go in with your blade and just kind of cut a little piece off and they'll fit right in wherever you need. Um, but we're gonna cut this last one right here, right angle, 45 degree angle with the blade. Um, and we're gonna try and keep it flush here. All right, well, not so flush, but it goes in, so that's good. Let's... We did the first part there, and I will say that that is probably the hardest part about the entire Easy Trace Jumper. Um, now we're going to introduce a motherboard to the mix. This one would be right where you're at right now, where you've re-alloyed the BGA array, and there's just a little bit of solder there, uh, and we're going to stick this down in there. We're going to line it up, and we're just going to start tacking things in. That's all we're doing. It's super, super easy. If you've ever accidentally created a bridge, you're about to create a bunch of them, and it's going to be fun. These things are absolutely precision, by the way, and let me actually put a little bit of flux down here. Well, no, let's just stick it in there for a second, and let's let me, let me show you what this looks like in here. Give you all a nice clear look. All right. So, do you remember how I was saying high precision? Well, I'm not sure if you can tell here, but every one of those gold little contacts, boom, 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 all the way across the top up here, every one of those are basically touching a component, or they're they're right next to it. All we're gonna do is bridge those components and we're gonna bridge just like I said like an iPad charging port here we're gonna bridge all these little pads right here with the solder that's under it and it's gonna be a nice flat surface and we'll have jumpers on it and you know you can stretch this out as long as you want but this is only gonna take a second so let me just show you how easy it is to install this thing um, we're gonna break it up into two sections we're gonna we're gonna get the bottom stuck on here and then I'm gonna show you how to tackle the jumpers and once you learn how to do this it's all going to be one maneuver for you. You're going to drop it in there. You're going to do, 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 tap, 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 tap. And then you're going to throw your chip on. It's going to make your day a lot more pleasant. So let me pull it out for just a second. Uh -oh. We're going to get a little bit of flux because uh, y'all know the trademark. If you're not fluxing, you're not soldering. Uh, poor little NC guy in the corner. Alright, 
So we're just going to push him down in there. We're going to make sure all of his corners are flat. So you'll you'll need a relatively flat surface to do this with. Um, at the end of the day, if part of your your array has a little more alloy on it from when you re-alloyed it, it it's not going to hurt anything. Um, I just recommend when you find a bump, like uh, so we can actually see here. Well, it'll stay in focus. There we go. You can see here when I'm pressing down, some of that flux is coming through, but over here it's not. That's indicative of a sign that there is a lump of solder that's that's offsetting it, right? Don't worry about that. It's not that big a deal. You're just going to touch your iron there first. You'll see what I'm talking about. So, you know, troubleshooting tips and stuff. We can kind of track it all the way to right here. That's where it's not pressing down at. So I'm going to go ahead and take my iron, and we're going to use a, a bigger chisel tip here. It's at least three pads wide. Um, reason I do that is I just want to make sure that there is enough power going through that we get this nice and even through here and we don't have any issues. All you need to confirm is that a little bit of that silver will change color of the gold pad to silver. The, that little bit of wetting action, because at that point you know they're kind of stuck together, you know? Um, I'll come down here with my tweezers and let's do this. See that how it's connecting there? It'll come through and sometimes it'll create its own little ball. Very, very easy to do that. Now we're going to come over here and we're going to attack that big guy. Remember him? Yeah, I, I feel like we just got him. Yeah, he came through right there. Little pimple guy. Alright, so I, I, I guess let me just do this part real quick. I mean... It's only going to take a second. It's like re -alloying. Without re -alloying, you're just using what was under it to begin with. Let's flip it around like we normally would. Remember, work smarter, not harder. And you can see that it was, it was kind of lifted up in the corner, and I just kind of boop, 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 worked my way across the grid, and it just stuck itself down, no problem. Um, this should also serve as a visual that if you are damaging these and damaging the easy trace jumpers in the installation process, it means you're being a bit rough, my I'll be nice. It it just means that you're you're being a little rough with it, you know? And yeah, I kinda talked my way through that and we had a little bit of fun and it looks like we've got that first part done. Like I said, this first and second part is probably gonna end up being like one little quick doo -doo 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 for you once you've done one or two of them, uh, but we're kind of taking this in slow-mo. So we're actually gonna hit that second portion now. Uh, the second portion being where we actually hit all the jumpers. There's eight of them on here. Um, my tip is that if you have a soldering iron that is maybe not the most powerful um, and you sometimes have trouble getting, that's a joke. Um, if, if you're having trouble with your soldering iron not producing enough heat, then you might want to think about using your hot air as an assistant. That way you can kind of heat up the area a little bit. You know what I mean? Um, so let me go ahead. We're going to throw a little J-tip doohickey on here. And we're going to go do this. So I would say there's one, two, three, four really easy ones. And two that are kind of a pain. And then one in the middle. So if you look right here, actually, this top corner is actually ground on both both sides, so you can kind of nick it on either one there. Um, that might be where you need to use the hot air or... You know, uh, a little bit in here, this guy, maybe. You know what I mean? But other than that, it's going to be a pretty fun, simple little rod, and we're going to do this thing. So let's do it. Clean up the tip a little bit. Y'all know how... And y'all know, you gotta wear gloves. I don't have them right now, or I'd be wearing them, so I'm sorry. Don't beat me. And let's go ahead and do this thing. I think we'll go ahead and we will hit the small guys first. And, you know, if you're keeping count, you're gonna see how fast we're gonna be doing these now, okay? So. That is one. Two. Try to make 
sure y'all can see it. There we go. So we got one, we got two. come to the the fun ones and like I said these bigger ones if you have a station that's not very very powerful or anything like that you can just use a little bit of hot air at the same time so I'll I'll do these like that and show you there we go we're gonna come in with the hot air hit our trouble spot we'll, we'll just say that's the ground guy here give it just a second you can watch it kind of crawl over There we go, and we can catch this guy too. Well, he grabbed over there. That's okay. And there we go. All right, and then I guess we could flip it around and get those last two. That's, that's gonna be fun, all right? So, let's put a little more flux up here. So now, even if you have a bad station, you can install this super easy. It's not gonna be not gonna be any troubles at all for you. You know, where maybe you would've had a problem before, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's do this guy, he's fun. This guy's kind of deceptive. He's actually a lot less thermal mass than he looks like. Look at that. Boop. Took like one. Boop. Super easy, right? And then let's do let's do this little guy. You know what? I think I just took enough off that other joint that we can come in. I think we did it. I think we did it. And I know y'all noticed I was kind of goofing off, having fun with it. I really wanted to stretch it out and kind of give you guys some of my thoughts during the process. But if you do this all in one shot, it's it's kind of like one, two, three, flip, one, two, three, poke around a little bit, change your tip, poke around a little bit more. You're maybe a minute and a half, two minutes in, and you're going to have eight service level jumpers, including ground, you know, in case you lose any ground references inside there. And not only that, but you're also going to have that one V8, and it's going to come right over. I think it's from A5. Don't quote me on that. I think it's coming right over from A5, and we got that routed too, so you're good to go. I think the only thing left is to install a chip on it and show you guys how that works, because at this point, we've got a little electrically sound, little easy trace jumper doohickey guy there, and you will notice that that entire array is flat, so it should be pretty easy to install. Um... I do have a little chippity chip here. You know, I was I was ready for you guys. And let me make sure all my little jumps are jumped. Doop, 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 doop. Yep. Everything is looking super solid. Let's do this. I'll probably jump cut me playing around looking for all that, but all right. Let's just let's just install this thing, all right? Why not? drop a little bit more fresh flux in there just in the middle drop this guy there and you see this little dot right there that's an alignment dot this is your secret right Wrong tweet. So, let's do this thing. So, this is the fun, easy part. Let's put it where you guys can see it. And uh, you will notice that top corner is covered. Really, I mean, you could probably, yeah, there you go, knock it to the side a little bit. 
there we go. So you can see a little bit of the orange there. Hold on, let me, I wanna make sure y'all can see this. Just pay attention. Like the whole, the whole chip is kind of cocked to the side. Okay, so watch the corner up here and watch the bottom move into place. When everything wets, if you've seen my surface uh, tension video, Oh, do you see that? We're almost there. There we go. How about that? All beautiful and lined up. It is like perfectly lined up. Woo! We did it, ladies and gentlemen. We installed it, no big deal. That was easy. It was kind of fun. I hope you guys have fun doing it. Um, yeah, if there's anything that's not covered in the video, it will definitely be covered on the wiki page. And if you are looking to pick some of these up, I'll make sure on that specific wiki page we put the vendors uh, for the Easy Trace Jumper. And, you know, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. Let me know if you have any issues. Let me know if these things are, like, just, just let me know. Let me know how you feel about them. You know what I mean? And I will catch you guys over on artof.repair. And I hope you guys know that's where you guys need to be now. Like, subscribe, share, notify, do that whole thing. I appreciate you. I love you guys. I will see you next time.